Good. You usually don't come indoors on Tuesdays, do you? We did last week um, on a Friday game. I just uh, wasn't really happy with um, just the footing and our grass yesterday, even though it's only mid-season. So just that was what drove the decision. We didn't ask you yesterday about Mike Haig. Is he uh, is he going to be back mm, from that calf injury? I don't think so. Not for this week. Maybe, hopefully, for next, the next one. But that'll be close as well. Uh, and so we miss him, especially nickel wise. Based on the way the two defenses are playing, um, are you expecting a low scoring kind of defense? I never know. You know, just as soon as you start thinking that way, it might be like 35, 34, or something. Um, I've seen them play defense, and I think they're good. And I think they're good on offense. So. Who, who knows? Um, I think I think it'll be a good game. I just I can't predict the score. How has Chucky King improved since uh, last year? Mm, just decision making. I think he's always been really uh, really a solid scrambler and super athletic. And so now there's a little bit more patience and poise before he takes off and the decisions he makes. So I would just say a little bit more balanced. Zach Stout still out? With yeah. The Achilles? Um, he came back actually and played a little bit, and then um, in movement prep yesterday, his Achilles didn't feel very good, so kind of came back and now has relapsed a little bit. Coach, with the way uh, he played last week and with Mike out now, do you see any room for an expanded role for Paul the CK kind of moving forward sure. this season? Sure. Yeah, Paul has he's been really impressive. Our defensive players have had a, have a, have a, have a hard time tackling him for four weeks now. And, and so uh, we were hopeful to be able to integrate him a little bit more. And so, yeah, everyone kind of moves up one notch. And um, so he's been with the offense all week. Riley get any more reps today? He did. He got um, probably double um, what, I had in, what I had expected him to get. Um, took team reps, skelly reps, et cetera. And, and so it's moving in the right direction. Still too early to call as to whether he'll be ready or not. In what ways have you seen a change in Russell Tula Beha since he returned on his mission? Um, every way. He's more mature, he's more confident, he's more poised, he's more focused, he gives more effort, he's a better leader, and I think, quite frankly, just an excellent person. It's one of the great success stories of our team. How has he helped to other rookies and other teammates since he returned on his mission? Oh, he's just by example. He's, he always has a smile on, it, on his face. He cherishes the chance to play again, and it shows. And so he's not taking it for granted, which is sometimes easy to do when you get into college life. Do guys like J.D. Falsluff, Kelly Papinga, guys who are familiar with Utah State, do they talk extra this week and kind of maybe warn you guys what you're in for? Not really. Um, and, again, I, I know everyone gets tired of hearing, but we prepare as hard as we can each week. Um, I think there's always a certain personal approach that it takes if you're playing a team close from home but so coach Howell's from up there Jason Walker our defensive graduate assistant JD Falsliff I mean so there's a little extra you know maybe uh, interest in it but the rest of the team is just continues on. Bronco Bay had the kid get kicked out early last season for the targeting play and did you guys use that as a learning tool or anything on what what the refs are looking for at that point? No we didn't but um uh, the, the, there's a new procedure now um, that uh, I got a letter from the head of officials in the Big 12, which is over. Um, we're affiliated with them for officiating. And so now what happens is when you have a player get um, called for a targeting foul, then they call you um, after they've reviewed it. So even if he's not kicked out during the game, he could be removed from the next game if after the game they review it and thinks it was malicious or something like that. So we got a letter then saying, if, we had, if we've had a player target that he's on probationary status and they expect education to happen, they send a letter to him. So I've educated our team that way. You've sold the kind of playing for a state championship theme. Are, yeah. you, work, are you talking about that this week still? Or? You know, I haven't addressed it at all. I think it's, uh, I mostly just address all those things at the beginning and then hopefully they're understood um, as the preparation just of the day in and day out goes on. But I haven't addressed it. I think our team understands it. Coach, did uh, Ronnie meet the doctors last night? I don't know if he met with the doctors or not, but he was allowed to practice today and practice more than what I had expected. And again, too early to say whether he'll be uh, playing this weekend or not. Up, but he was a little bit ahead of where I thought he might be. Does it give you more time, maybe push back the timeline when he, he may be able to start practicing more today? Sure. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of people, media fans, think about Utah State as the t 
team you last played when you became defensive coordinator again, when their name comes up on the schedule, do you think of it in that context at all? No. Um, man, uh, there's so many different contexts. Um, I think about uh, Gary Anderson and the relationship I have with him. I, mean, I think about, uh, I mean, I really like Logan. I think it's a cool place. Uh, I do remember that game, but I also remember some of the previous era with Brent Guy, and, and so like all of that kind of swirls into one picture, and then I remember the game last year, and so that's kind of icing on the cake, and it's really turned into a nice game and a good uh, interstate rivalry, so I think it's good. When you kind of came up with Gary around the same time career-wise, do you guys kind of keep an eye on each other or other people? You know, um, off and on, not so much by conversation, but just kind of uh, here and there, and obviously when he was at the University of Utah, there wasn't much contact, um, but now that he's at Utah State, it's much more. Specific challenges that uh, Keaton and Williams present? With mm, athleticism. Just athleticism in space. The, the, the design of their offense is multifaceted, and so they try to get their athletes in space against other athletes in space. And, and so it's going to be a collective approach for us to try to match them. Do you like the matchup that you have with your guys against you know, that, that mentality? Oh, I, I, um, I like the challenge for our defensive players no matter who we play and what style. And so it doesn't mean more or less. I just like the different challenges, and this is a good one. Top five level defense. We're pleased with the fact that statistically you guys are in the, the top in the country. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of them for that to this point and anxious to continue. Okay, thanks.